Hey everyone, Livelock here with a Arcane Mage commentary. I gamed way too hard over the last couple of days, and I actually got this mage up to 4 set and I level 266. So he's pretty close to being like a real a real player at this point. He has no trinkets though, so I have no, basically no trinkets. I have like some ooze I got. I got like four oozes so far, but I got zero IQDs and zero rubies, which will be the next grind. But I'm at the point where I... Pretty sure I get the, the gist of, of Mage, and I'm pretty happy with uh, what I got so far. It's definitely scratching the itch I hoped it would scratch. So I'll go over just like all of my initial impressions from like the first real keys I'm doing. Well, I mean, it's a 14, but but soon it will be it will be 20s, I, I promise. Um, the the Necrotic Wake that we ran here was pretty good because it was, it was pretty smooth. Um, I'm running with Coco Mojo, who's on his Survival Hunter alt at the moment. Um, who's already out damaging his rogue, which is pretty cool. This first part, this is what I hate the most by far about about playing Arcane Mage. You have to run out of the dungeon to keep your harmony stacks, so you can just so you can just like enter the dungeon ready to go, which is so weird. Every other class, like why would meta be okay, but but Arcane harmony stacks aren't. Um, anyway, the rotation is pretty simple. It's pretty punishing if you miss it though. Uh, my my combat thing is like messed up right here. I'll, I'll switch it after this pull. Um, this is kind of risky. This first pull, basically, it seems like as an arcane age, you're always thinking about. I have, I need like ten seconds. Like, where is my ten seconds? <laughs> like, how can I get that ten seconds to do my stuff? Um, the, I've been doing the single target rotation a lot, but here's the, the uh, AOE rotation. I I macroed. I have a macro that does. Uh, that does arcane power and barrage at the same time, as well as another macro that does arcane explosion and arcane power at the same time. So I can just make it easier to to decide, like you know, to, to not have to press all these little buttons while I'm doing everything. But it seems like um, I'm I'm not sure. Like sometimes I I just like destroy everything, and sometimes I don't. I think everything died here way too fast um, because this uh, this this DK and the survival hunter both used their their cooldowns at the same time. Um, but, but the nice part about this, like, like a as a uh, as a shadow priest, which is the only other caster I've ever really played besides mage right now, what you would do as a shadow priest is you would just explode every like two minutes when you have PI for yourself. But I can explode way way better as a oh see me see me my doubt I have to face my doubt hang on <laughs> I can explode way more as a arcane mage than I can as a shadow priest and I can do it way more often. So. I, I can actually justify the overall loss as an arcane mage a lot easier than I can justify the overall loss as a shadow priest because I'm doing something that like almost no other class can do, which is like massive priority target damage right now, like on demand. Um, as a shadow priest, I'm just like a worse demo lock in every way. So I've still got to get the hang of a few things. I still definitely don't have. I don't. I, I'm definitely doing the rotation wrong. Like I don't know what to do after I do the the regular combo for AOE and. Uh, for AoE and for single target, because now I have the four set, so I have more time in my Magi. But this actually, I think, I think this boss fight ends up going really, really well. Do I have my? Yeah. So I use my my clones, so I don't pull aggro, which is really cool. I go uh, radiant. I do touch of the Magi, and then I go into my my explosion, explosion, and you can see these explosions. Um, the first one did 38k. The second one did 53k. Uh, then I do my first arcane barrage which is 226. The Arcane Barrage triggers an Echo on the Spark target for 177. So I just did like half a million damage in, in one button press. I, I, I guess only 400,000 in one button press, my bad. Um, then I do, uh, then I do, did I press? Okay, yeah, then, then I should be doing my Orb next, right? So then I do Orb. Orb ends up doing 110,000 damage. I should use a defensive here, but I'm just like whatever. I wanna, I wanna destroy everything. <laughs> um, and then the last, uh, there should have been a arcane. Oh, okay. I think I, I should have done an arcane. Okay, this is the part where where I'm actually confused. I don't know if I should be doing an arcane explosion right now or an arcane blast. I think I should be doing an arcane blast right now, but I keep on doing arcane explosion. Um, but I should be doing an arcane blast just at the end of this window. And the attach of the Magi ends up going off for 300,000 damage. So in how long has this been? This has been like like 10 seconds. Uh, I've done over a million damage. Like now, now is like my downtime. Now I run out and I start building up again. 
but not for that long because with Ur, you get two windows like back to back basically. So I'm gonna build up my harmony stacks and then I'm gonna go right into doing a uh, another one. Touch of the Magi, and now I'm doing my single target one. Blast, 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 barrage. And then here I'm also confused again. I probably shouldn't do two more blasts. I should probably, yeah, I don't know what I should have done there yet. I need to read the the mage discord to find out what I'm gonna be doing there. But but that is like so cool. Like <laughs> every time I do that on the mage, I think I literally say that's so cool. That's uh, that's every single time I've done any anything on the mage, just because I, I've never had that experience of of just like completely annihilating something in in this game. Um, I mean, really, I've only played DPS for this patch, and I've mostly played Enhancement Shaman, so it's definitely very different from Enhancement Shaman. And I'm also getting the hang of this uh, this facing your your doubt thing. I think. Am I gonna face my doubt? I guess I mess up my doubt there, but. I've got this uh, this weak aura that plays like a little guitar strumming sound whenever the doubt comes out, and I you know, I save it for the right time, and and it's actually a pretty big buff. Like it's like a 10% uh, int buff or something. Like that on your windows is is no no small deal. Okay, so here let's see let's see how this one goes. Um, so we're doing the arcane power combo. We're doing arcane barrage. We each one of these arcane blasts did uh, got 60k, 32k. The barrage does. This time it actually did do like half a million damage. <laughs> the barrage. Um, it's gonna die before I can get all of the, the spark damage in. The big thing right now is like things die really fast. So I'm looking forward to to getting to use this in like a really high key because because uh, I'll get to run it with a a demo lock, the the warlock that we usually run with, and the uh, just like the strategy involved with. With like us determining like how we spread out our damage, or you know we can do some pulls that that would have been like incredibly sketchy. Like maybe maybe this will enable us to pull in uh, more easily all of the adds onto the first boss of, of Theater of Pain because I can literally just delete the uh, the play corn right. Like between all of us, uh, all of that damage like it's gonna be like really really fun to to actually be able to do things like that. Oh, after I talked myself up. Oh, I see. I tried to face my my doubt, but I guess I, I messed it up. I talked myself up on, on all of that, and and uh, and then I messed it up. But but uh, besides just like the normal like arcane stuff, um, I'm really liking the fact that you have all of these these utility options and defensives. Like I've never had an immunity before, so uh, of course as I say that I uh, <laughs> I just get feared. I I don't uh, do anything about that, but. I've never had like an immunity before. There's like all these things I can ice block off. Uh, like alter time is a really cool ability. I've really only used it as I like the same way I use transcendence so far. Like I I, I do a couple of things where I, I heal myself back up, but it's hard to. I guess I do need like a macro or something to to announce that to the healer, basically so that they don't have to uh, worry about healing me because often it's the case that I'm healed back up to like more than I started with health wise, and then the healer doesn't like ever benefit from for me using Alter Time. Um, but there are some cool things you can do with Alter Time. I'm not sure if I do anything cool in here. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on there, but here's another case. Like, here's a, a a case where you need burst DPS to kill this Marauder, right? So I just, I try and time it right. I hold it right now, and then I send it. Like, and he's gone. Like, <laughs> uh, that was, that was, like, amazing, right? Like, I I don't know. I'm not going to get over that, like, anytime soon. So, <laughs> just there, there are all these weird things you can do. Where if you can just like burst something really really quickly, like maybe you you can beat some some timer, like some mechanic won't happen or it won't be dangerous anymore. Like I can save my second burst on on a uh, on the first boss of of Das on 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 a uh, Hakar. I can like eliminate one of his shields almost entirely myself. Like the the third shield, I, I haven't even done. Yeah, like that's gonna be awesome too. Um, just like all the all the cool things you can do when you have this damage profile. And I think in the end it will end up being less overall than like a uh, than a demo warlock. But I have to just like stop comparing myself to a demo warlock because they're just broken. So I can't <laughs> I can't keep worrying about that. Um, here I don't think I use anything because I just let the orbs like do their thing. And at this target count, the damage of of arcane explosion is not that bad. Like, uh, well I guess it's uh, a little bad. I I'm only doing like 10k here, but. Look at our survival hunter. Like, what the hell? Survival hunters are just, like, nuts. <laughs> like, they're nuts in the same way that Windwalkers are nuts, but I guess they're they're uncapped. 
So I'm not sure why why they're doing all that stuff. This pack in particular is awesome. I can just I do I let's see what what, what do I do? I do my single target rotation looks like. Um but I don't use arcane power. I get my doubt and then I send it and then two of those in a row and he should be dead from that. Yeah, he's dead. Like that that pull will never go on a long time again as long as I'm an arcane mage. Like that will never be like an inconvenient pull anymore. Um I didn't have to even use arcane power. I, I learned some hard things. Oh, I learned some things the hard way, which show up were mostly there's like spell queuing issues. I had to add like cancel spell queue commands into my macros so that so that like arcane power would actually go off. Uh, I was having a problem where arcane power wasn't going off if I spammed my macro. Um, and there's another problem where um, uh, oh, actually here, hang on, let me let me look at this uh this this Marth bite. I'm trying to time my my fifth one, and I think I I think I get it. Yeah. So now I'm doing like 30k on a Marth, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. So sorry. I, I just wanted to see. <laughs> I don't know why, but but that damage profile, like people might be annoyed by like how how fangirl I get over over this damage profile, but it's so cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how else to uh, to really put it. But yeah. So another thing that I had to learn the hard way was. If you cast your arcane barrage, if you spell queue it along with your fourth arcane power, then sorry, or your, your fourth arcane blast, then it actually won't count as the fourth ability. It won't get it won't get buffed by your your magi. That like it travels faster or something than than your arcane blast. So I've had to like basically I have to like do a little bit of a pause after I do my fourth arcane blast on single target. Um, but this is a this is like. I mean, this is respectable damage, right? This is like a normal damage profile. Or, uh, I mean, he's already he's competitive with uh, with my my enhancement shaman at this point, and he's got like ten less item level and no trinkets. So I'm um, I've definitely got like a lot more to learn, but but uh, it's like a very different playstyle. And and if I were to play him in some keys instead of enhancement shaman, then there definitely would be trade offs. It's not the case that. Like either one is like better than the other. I mean, they're they're both like not meta specs, so they each have like, you know, reasonable trade offs. Unlike some of the meta specs, uh, and, and in this case, the thing I'm giving up is consistent damage on on every single pull for all for like all time. That's what my enhancement shaman does. And there's like also a lot of utility stuff that enhancement shaman can do. Like I have no stuns anymore, which is why I've been taking. I've been taking, uh, what's it called? Ring of Frost or something? R Circle of Frost? Uh, ring, ring of Frost? Yeah, I have no idea what it's called, but the Frost Ring. Um, I've been taking that just because I don't feel like I need the the movement speed from Barrage. That's kind of weird. Like, I've never needed that so far. And Frost at least gives me something I can do as a AoE stop. So, like, I, I could interrupt the ads on, on the hallway before a car that have to get interrupted before they explode into, like, devoted whatevers. Uh, with this talent, but I couldn't actually do that with. Oh, look at my damage! Look at that damage! <laughs> like everything hits for like, like, like two hundred thousand. Like all of my numbers during my window are like three digits. Like, I I very much enjoy that. So that was like twenty seconds this pull, and I did like a million and a half damage. That's that's I I very much enjoy doing that sort of a thing. And this week is even better. Well, first of all, this week sucks. This week is quaking. Learning how to do this class on quaking week was a nightmare. It was extremely frustrating. I'm, I'm pretty sure that because I learned this class on quaking week, I'm just going to be like really, really good. <laughs> like when it's not quaking week, because getting getting quaked or having to work around quaking as a as an arcane mage is like like really really tedious. But but uh, inspiring is actually pretty fun on this week because I I serve like a very important role on this week i i basically make sure that the inspiring mobs die like right away so some big big pulls that we normally do where we would have like cc'd something like as long as i have my arcane harmony stacks i can almost certainly like like almost instantly eliminate a inspiring target um and the bosses the boss damage actually isn't that good in this build i i don't know what to think yet about that i know that the uh the yeah, like it, once we get to Sitch Flesh, we'll see. But the the un unfunneled boss damage is definitely not as good as I thought it would be. Um, 
I know there's raid builds, so maybe now I'll have to go through this phase like I went through with Enhancement Shaman, where where I'm trying all these different builds. It seems like there's less build flexibility with, with uh, Arcane Mage. It looks like Frost Mage is probably the, the big Arcane... Sorry, the Frost Mage is probably the one with the most like flexibility in terms of Legendaries and Covenant you can go. It seems like everyone's just going Tyrion right now with with uh, with Arcane. Um, I think there's like something to be said for, for Necro. I try to get the... Uh, I try to get this hook into the ad over there, so it's not on me. Um, but, so here, what do I have? I, okay, I don't have my big CDs here, unfortunately. But I prep right away for Rune of Power. I got my ads out, my clones. Now I can just do the big AB rotation. And what's that? 135k in the barrage. And then the, the next one, is it going to drop? 188k. Yeah, so I think I did a weird rotation there. I wasn't exactly sure... I think I messed that up a little bit, but it's not bad damage. And there definitely is like a really large damage difference between between the arcane power and not arcane power. I mean, I guess it's like 50%. But but right now because my crit is actually my crit's pretty high, but I don't I need a ruby. If I had a ruby, then most of these damage windows would be like a lot more consistent because if I go and look at the the uh, the logs for each of these pulls, like you know, I'll have, in, in a typical arcane, sorry, in a typical AoE rotation, I'll usually get, like, uh, 15 arcane instances of arcane barrage off, and, like, if one of them crits, which has happened to me before, then I do, like, almost no damage. Oh, I see that? I dodge that. You can actually dodge that vomit the second it goes off. That's kind of, like, nuts. Um, and the difference between, like, all of them critting and none of them critting is, I mean, obviously really huge. So I should face my doubt pretty soon. And get faced. Okay. Uh, I've been just focusing down Ur a little bit on all of these these packs. Seems like arcane missile spam is is pretty decent for that actually. Um, as long as I don't have anything else better to do, you know, like like completely pad the meters, which uh, which I do have to do that. <laughs> um, I think I I probably do I spear. I I guess I don't spear. I, I probably spear the second time. I'm doing this single target rotation here. And let's see how much that does. Uh, oh, it looks like I had to... That kind of sucks. I had to run. Um, so yeah, I'm only doing 10k. I think I, I messed up and I had to run. Uh, it looks like we killed... I'm not sure what happened there. Did I mess up? Well, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just happy to be here and uh, be doing actual keys. It took me like like a year. Not a year, but it took me forever to get enough enough uh, runs in, so I got a helmet. Like... That was that was very very painful. I think I did like like fifty. I, I had like seven thousand valor or eight thousand valor by the time I got my helmet, so I can get my tier set. I'm doing my javelin now, and I'm going to do probably my my arcane yeah my arcane power rotation with single target because I really want this thing to die because this thing just like makes pugs fail <laughs> so often. And I barrage, and that was not that bad. But you see, I see like it's like ninety six k for for single target with one ad. So it's not amazing, the the single target damage, but it's not terrible, and it gives me something for like all of these damage amp phases, like uh, probably arcane mage or probably arcane mage or boomkin benefit the most, I think, from damage amps. If I had to, if I had to guess, um, if I were to exclude <laughs> like having like a, a a beefed up PI uh, demo warlock tyrant or something like that. Um, but here's the last boss. And I think we definitely like easily bust through this. One of the cool things about this is I have been this now. Like I can drop threat. So not only do I not have to die when we fail, but uh, looks like oh yeah, my haste was low. I, I was having trouble getting this off. The four piece makes a big difference for like quality of life. Um, the uh, just having the extra time on your magi window, so you don't always like lose something when when anything goes wrong. So me me and me and the hunter have like I don't know if we do it this time, but. We've been going back and forth with trying to make each other get the mechanics. Like, uh, he's being sent down, so he'll feign. Then I'll be sent down, so then I'll invis. And then, like, it goes back to him, but he can, like, just stay dead. Or feign death is, like, a, a really short cooldown or something. I don't know. I end up going down, I think. Let's see. Let's see what's next. Oh, okay. Here it is. Here it is. So, the hunter. Let's see. Coco, Mojo. I get, I get binds on me. You can blink back with binds if you have Shimmer, too. Just to get everybody out of the way. Oh, he couldn't do it. <laughs> he didn't feign fast enough. So that's his fault. Um, let's skip ahead. 
We, we probably win shortly right now. Uh, I, I send... Oh, I don't even use my, my hammer. Should use the hammer. So yeah, I got like 15k overall. I'm doing regular damage now on this guy. I uh, I am very pleased with, with how it's turned out so far. I have no no large complaints. I really like the itch at scratches. It's very different from Enhancement Shaman. I am definitely not that good at it yet. I still don't even know what to do for the entire rotation now that I have four extra seconds in the Magi window. I just like spam Arcane Explosion sometimes. Like <laughs> I don't really know, to be honest, but I've got to figure all that stuff out. But it's a lot of fun, and I'm enjoying it so far. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a mix of content. I don't want to make sure... Like, I want to make sure... I know most people right now are looking at me for for uh, Enhancement Shaman stuff. So hopefully they don't get too burned out from doing Mage stuff, or maybe we find more Mage people that, that like it. I added a channel to the Discord. So uh, feel free to, to do as much or as little in interaction with the, the specs you don't like as possible. Um, but I will see you in the next one.